welcome back everybody so i know i said i was going to put together the kentaro for the beginning of this episode but i thought what i do uh, because we haven't brought it out of storage yet we haven't put it together i thought i'd just put it together first really quick just to show you guys what it what it will uh take so it's ready the five parts from storage now we could put it together in apollo using these parts but i like the fact that this is a sldf upgrade it's got an XL engine already built into it, uh, which is probably going to be bad for a, uh, um, a Melee Max. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but let's just see. This one I think is the better of the, the ones that were here. We do have a, uh, where is it here? Regular Kentaro, which I don't want to grab. And then we do have the Apollo, which we have one part of. I mean, we could put together with the 19B parts and the 19 part. But like I said, let's go this route. It's not going to cost us any money to do it this way. Plus, I think this is a better version. So let's just ready this mech. We'll have a quick look at it, and then I'll cut away, and I'll, I'll get this assembled uh, by switching the stuff over from the trebuchet. So let's have a look what it's got left, and it doesn't look like it's got much here. So it does have the LRM-15 long fire, SRM-6. Um, looks like the XL engine is still intact. The core is gone, though. Narc launcher is still there, so let's do a quick repair on it. Uh, not bad. Okay, not bad. I think we can work with this. We can work with this. Yeah, so it made out okay. It made out okay. Um, it could have been a lot worse. We, we maintained the plus one heat sink here, but I don't think I've got a core big enough to run this, so I'll have to take this out. Um, Let's actually do that now. Well, let's leave it for now. Uh, we'll get this repairing eight days, uh, and then I'll get everything switched over. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. And I will be back in a few minutes once I'm able to um, get these two mechs, or once these two mechs are outfitted, then I'll go ahead and show you what I did. All right, so we got the mechs updated. Let's have a quick look in the barracks first before we go to the mech bay. I just got a few points to spend here in the pods. Now we jump systems. We were at a one and a half skull system. Now we're at a two skull system. I just wanted to go someplace with a little tougher missions. I think it was just the one. Oh, uh, witness. Um, indirect fire. You're a direct fire guy. So bonus to sprint. Yeah, I mean, let's face it. We're not going to get that much more XP. So let's go with bonus sticks to sprint confirm that okay so uh, mech bay so we'll have a look at the uh, trebuchet first uh, this worked out pretty good I think so um, now the firepower is low on this guy uh, only because once you get the um, the lamb engine and everything in this thing the weight is it just kind of goes up so we had like four and a half tons for <laughs> weapons so nothing really uh, I couldn't lower the engine core uh, and keep the heat sinking up because I, I don't have any more double heat sinks right now. So I couldn't lower the engine, which is normally what I would do, uh, but I couldn't do that to gain weapon or gain uh, uh, more weight. So for now, we just have to run it as it is. So it does have the uh, defensive gyro in here. We left this one in, in here. Um, gives us a uh, bonus to evasion and defense and all that stuff, which is great, and sets the uh, 40 stability, which is good. Uh, the lamb structure is in here as well, as well as the partial wing system, which has to be, of course, in this as well. Uh, where the heat e efficiency on this thing is ridiculously good. I don't really have to worry too much about uh, heat sinking at all. Um, now, we're going to be jumping a lot, so that'll add a lot of heat. Our range for jumping actually isn't that bad. It's 180 meters which is almost as far as our max sprint uh, with for only having uh, five jump jets. That's pretty good. Now, we only had two improved uh, jump jets, so both of those are in, and three regular jump jets. we got the Watchdog Suite in here, too, just to add a little bit of stealth to this guy, plus giving them increased sensor and sight range will really help our team out. Uh, plus, it's got a UAV, uh, which means we can uh, activate that when we're close to the enemy. As long as we're hidden, we'll activate it and... Uh, um, highlight our enemies making our uh, teammates a little easier to hit um, so yeah that's pretty much this guy it's not a lot I got a, I left the two medium X pulses on this thing one on each arm and I put the uh, clan light tag in it to give it a bit better chance to hit um, or give our our team a little bit better chance to hit so yeah 
that's pretty much it. Um, I left the fire control system critical in here, hoping hopefully we can get some critical hits with the uh, with the X pulses, but we'll see. And everything else stayed the same. So let's just uh, get out of here. Now the Kantara, once again, we don't we didn't really have. I mean, it's the perfect mech for a melee mech. We re we really didn't have a lot of gear to drop in here, um, but I think what we did have uh, it works out okay. Um, it could be a lot better, of course, if we had better gear for sure. Um, so the hatchet stayed on, or we added the hatchet first. Um, now I built this in steps, so I put the hatchet on first. It's uh, once again going back. If you're building a melee mech. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if you still need to do it this way, but I did it just in case. So you add the weapon with the most bonus damage first. So this is plus 45 melee damage, so it went on first. Then we have the uh, the um, the fire fists and the spike fists. So the spike fists went on next, and the fire fists went on right after that. Uh, and then I added everything else in a final uh, build. So we added a laser AMS because we are going to be in close, uh, plus the recommendation that it'll be generating heat when it's firing at missiles incoming. Uh, that's great. You know, we'll be get adding extra heat for the endo TSMs, which we've got built in here. Um, we need a lot of heat for that to work. So in order to generate heat as we're going in, I left the Royal Heat Sink Kit in this. Um, we've got a medium pulse magnet, which generates 20 heat. Um, it's really relatively a short range weapon, but we can always fire it at the ground. We've got a large, a large heavy laser. This is generating the bulk of our heat. I figured might as well drop it in because if we're at extended range um, at least we can shoot at our enemies right so we got this thing in here uh, I got a tagger in here as well uh, tag system um, but it generates a bit of heat as well it's four so we can target it on anything it does eight damage as well so it's not too bad I put the fire uh, pirate fire control system in here because it's got breaching shot uh, so for firing a single weapon uh, at a mech um, it'll ignore cover and guarded obviously, but um, it also adds plus one accuracy and evasion pips ignored with ranged weapons It does add one recoil, but since we're gonna be punching a lot that won't make a difference Plus 10% weapon heat generated was really what I was looking at for this um, to generate extra heat when the weapons fire off Now we've got an SRM 4 and a pair of SRM 2s and a one ton of ammo So this will also generate heat um, When we get in close and we're firing at enemies these will generate a fair bit of heat So if we look at the heat efficiency here um, We'll, we'll gener a lot of, gener generate a lot of heat once we're in close. We'll fire all the weapons, we'll spike, and then we'll attack. Um, I did leave the regular Royal Heat Sink Kit in here because it does ma add maximum heat and overheat threshold, so hopefully we won't overheat too much. Um, but that'll lower our heat quickly if we have to, so that's in there. Uh, like I said, five uh, jump, or sorry, four jump jets. I uh, wasn't able to get the full five in this, but four jump jets for some good maneuverability, plus a lot of heat as well if we're jumping around. And I left the XL engine. I put the heavy gyro in here uh, to add the stability, because if we're going to be jumping a fair bit to get close to the enemy, um, then um, we'll at least have a good amount of um, stability, even if we jump and fire. If our, if our instability goes up, we'll have a bit of buffer there, not, have to, not to have to worry about it. I left the plus one heatsink kit in here. Uh, I dropped the, the 275 core. This is the biggest core we had. I dropped it in here um, just so we can move as fast as possible. Top speed's 235, which is pretty good for this thing. Uh, and of course, it'll be a lot faster once we get the heat up. Um, getting, uh, uh, where is it here? Plus 30 sprint distance, plus 30%. So we'll get some good distance on this thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really interested to see how we're going to do here. Uh, where's our... Uh, Max damage is 214. Melee damage is... It says 78. It's a, I think that's roughly what we had on the other mech. Um, but once we get in close, obviously, with the uh, TSM act active, it's going to be a lot different than that. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, if we can get some more um, bonus damage items, that'll be excellent. But for now, this is all we can do. So let's jump into a battle. I haven't had a chance to look at the missions yet. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, command Center. Let's see what we got here. Key personnel. It's an assassinate mission. Ice Hillian territory. A lot of higher end ones. This is only a two skull planet, but looks like we got up tiered in this planet. Dead or alive is another assassinate. Last mech standing. A battle. Ghost bear, really? Chain landing leader. Um, repossess armored vehicles. That's always an iffy. Recover biological samples. Diamond Shark facility. 
Um, that'll be at least two lances, maybe three. Oh, it's so iffy. Especially with untested mechs. I just, I'm just if, iffy about doing that. Let's go with this one. We'll go for the repossession. Uh, yeah, we're going to be facing heavy light armored vehicles, but they're not going to be clan vehicles. So most likely it'll be probably three lances in total, but we'll see how it goes. So let's negotiate this. Going to go full salvage. And we're going to pull out... Um, what are we going to pull out this time? Well, the Irby's coming out and the Gauntlet's coming out because we're going to run uh, the Kintaro and the Treb. Is this the right mission for this, though? Eh, regardless, we said we're going to do it. All right, let's go this route. Um, yeah, let's just do it and see how we do. Okay, let's hope we don't have Thumper or Arrow Max out on us here. Oh, okay. Looks like they got a stealth bomber. Makes me wish we had artillery. Uh, probably three lances, I'm guessing. I hear you. <laughs> Is that enough movement? You think? You think that jumps? Think that jumps far enough? I don't know. I don't know if that's far enough. Do you think it's far enough? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, and they're not all even—they're not—they're not even all improved uh, jump jets. Time to fly. Look at the evasion! All right, well that's going to be interesting. So we have a melee of 142. But we can't be punching aircraft, unfortunately. Don't got much of a sprint on however. Uh, let's just get over here for now. Let's just get over here. Now we're going to fire at the ground. Go right here. Leave the serms off for now. And yeah. Okay. Well, that's a whole lot of nothing. Acknowledge. Don't know how we want to do this here. I want to get the barrage in there as fast as I can. That stealth bomber's got to die. Because it can wreak havoc on us here. Alright, maybe they can't sense us yet. Yep. All right, full speed. Don't like moving up when we can't uh, be in trees, but we'll take it for now. Yeah, our heat is just dropping and dropping. So until we actually engage, not going to bother firing. There's no point. Um, yeah, let's go this way. I mean, it's not bad speed. Once we're able to fire everything, though, it'll be a different story. I wish we had more than two laser slots on this thing, but that's all we have, unfortunately, so kind of stuck with that. Full throttle. Okay. Got Talos. Let's, um, 50% chance to hit the Talos, but I think I want to go this way. And put it right there and hope we get a bunch of them. Engaging target. 
Yeah, we got the chopper. I bet you we got a whole bunch of them. Yeah, two vehicles down. Two vehicles down. I think you need to scout the situation out. I don't know. Can we get close enough, do you think? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God, I, I'm sorry, but this is just the best. Like, I never expected the lamb, like building a lamb mech on something to be this good. Like we don't have a ton of firepower, but good luck, good luck shooting me. Like, well, we got six chevrons of evasion. It's not the best, but still not bad. Nidhogg, that's pretty good chances to hit. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yellow jacket, a light carrier. There's the Talos. A lot of back damage on this guy. I think we shoot the Nidhogg. It's a lot of missiles. Yeah, man. Thank you. I think this chopper is the last one. What do we got back here? Centurion. Hetzer. Alright, they can still connect. How many chevrons of vision do we have? Two, four, six, seven. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, they gotta fix those mortars. They're hitting that rock for some reason. Doing damage to themselves. It's kind of one of the reasons why I'm afraid to use them. Because whenever I watch enemies, unless they have a direct line of sight on the on the on their targets, they seem to just go ahead and damage themselves a lot of the time. So as an indirect weapon, it might not be the best thing to use. This is going to be over real quick, I think. Alright, let's push them. Get some direct fire. And let's go after the last remaining target here. We're going to fire everything on it, hopefully pull it down quickly. Okay, we got one on. All right, a little bit of damage. Good to go. Consider me there. Okay, let's target this guy. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Of course you do. They're heading your way. Uh, wow. That's it? Okay, snake. 45 tons. I'm sure there's somebody stuck back here. There always is. Uh, okay. Looks like three mediums. Scarecrow. Okay, this will give us some options. Alright, what do we got? Uh, Talos, we could just hammer him. I think I want to lose this yellow jacket though. Hetzer. Light carrier. Low chances to hit on the carrier, eh? Okay, this is going to be a multi-target. Let's go after you. And then let's see if we can pull down this aircraft. So, that'll go to A. And both of these guys will go to B. And we'll fire. Leaving the rockets off for now until I know what the other mechs are coming in. Okay, nice shot. Okay, beautiful. 
Can leave now if we have to. Okay, Bessie, no big deal. Tempting. Tempting. Okay, let's just jump over here. And we're just going to brace. Do we got somebody else back here? No, I think there's somebody traps. It's probably just these three for now. We got eyes on these guys. Ah, uh, screw you and your mortars. Or was that the Hetzer? No, that was the mortar. Thought maybe the Hetzer was using, uh... <sighs> Crap. Oh, no, we got, we got another guy up here. What is that? Talos? Or not, sorry, uh, Bushwalker. All right, might be dropping minefields. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. We're gonna shift the Kentaro over to this side. The Talos and the, uh, well, our fire's on and that arc light should be able to clean up the left, no problem. And if we get the Kentaro meleeing on the uh, right side, it's pretty much over for these guys. I think I'm going to expend the rockets next turn. I want to clean up this uh, left side here. Let's get into here. See what our options are here. Good chance on this guy. Not so good on that guy. So, yeah. Really bad on that guy pretty good on this guy. So let's do a multi-target and go with you and you. B will take the MMLs. We're going to switch over to SRM dead fire, I think. And then go ahead. Here we go. Oh yeah, two hits. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nicely done. So somebody was much. Uh, once again, I apologize. Uh, names wise, we talked a little bit about stealth last time, but it's also range too. Like if you're, like you notice the difference in chance to hit between the Hetzer and this guy. It has everything to do with range, right? This guy's outside optimal range. Okay, TSMs aren't quite there yet, but let's get into here. Got it. it will be in a second. Just in time for some melee here. So, let's go on this guy, and then our TSM should be activated. Almost no hits, but that's fine. Yeah, endo TSM is now on. I wonder what our dam uh, melee damage, 198. So this guy is going to take a nice heavy hit. We'll be in the water though, so that's not optimal. Depending, oh, he's going to sit there. Maybe I just run past him and just smash this guy. <laughs> Bessie just standing there. What are you coming after me for? Not the bushwhacker, probably. No, that's the Bessie. I should be able to clean up these two, and then we'll leave Arclight to take care of the Centurion, and I'll rotate the Talos off to this side. I've been sent to 
it doesn't help if they can't use it right away. Okay, so that that's where the uh, bushwhacker is. You can see he disappeared. He's running stealth, right? So that's why you can't see him. All right, firing on this guy. Firing everything and three misses. Heat's going way up, though. Eh? They're jumping around like that, even with the exchanger in there. He's all yours, girl. It's all yours. Okay. Um, those all go to B, and that goes to A. And here it comes. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, enough for a kill on the Talos. Oof, not quite enough. Oh, I take it back? It was. Nice. That's fine. It was worth it. We got a kill for both for using both of them, so that's fine. It's what they're there for. It's what they're there for. Who's that? Gonna cool off. For Don't quite have enough range for this, huh? Even with the TSMs on, eh? Still not that that big a distance. Let's go to this side. Here it comes, 97% chance to hit. He did stand still though, so that's his problem. There goes the leg. Yeah, not bad. Still not sold on the dedicated melee mech. I guess it's all situational, you know? That's why it would be nice to have two lances. Yep. Just to start off. I know I wanted to give you the Centurion. Let's engage over here. I want to turn off the, um, let's go after this guy. Wow, 4%, hey? I want to turn those off to get some heat down on this thing. 7.7, .7, 13 on the guy in the water. 28 in the Bessie, 18. He's got 47 left here, eh? Let's just fire at the Bessie. Take the best chance to hit, get a little bit of damage in there. So we can get a little closer. Kind of worried about that Centurion with the AC-10 on him. Oh, somebody's got a rack. I'm under heavy fire. You certainly are. Damage we got to get on that uh, bushwhacker. Full 
Got to get it in the bushwhacker. Wow, terrible chances to hit right now. Let's see if we can get the kill on this guy. Hopefully we don't hit our own guy here. Um, yeah, dead fire. Beautiful. Now it's an even fight. Yeah, that guy's got pretty good stealth. Not that I want to go for the Bessie, but looks like we got the best chance to hit. Let's go with dead fire, apply as much damage as we can. Ah, the two lasers hit, or missed, I mean. Get him. Let's close the distance. Ooh. Just kicked his arm right off. Let's push these guys. Here I come. Here I come, motherfucker. Yeah, three hits. Nice. Penetrated the back. CT. Beautiful. He's nice and hot, too, which really helps. Okay. Your turn. Hmm. Centurion. Our barrage is back. Want to kill this guy or this? I should shoot this guy. 43%. Let's target this guy. We have a better chance to hit. Uh, if we switch to let's go with Artemis better chance to hit um, how are we doing with heat wise let's use the warlord now and apply some damage this guy here comes nice hit Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. so our Kintaro is in range of this bushwhacker now That was the Bessie, I think. Yep. When does this guy go? When does he go? Probably at the most inopportune time for me. Probably now. Yep. And he's giving you his back, too. Don't complain. He's pretty much giving himself to you here. That's uh, too bad one of your dead fires is down. Oh well. Uh, here it comes. Well. No. AMS systems. AMS systems has messed you up. Flames on the way. Beautiful. We need the f as much heat as we can get. Max on fire. That was a leg hit, I think. How's he doing here? That's the left leg. It tells me. I should just read it. <laughs> okay, witness. That's a, not a back shot. That's a back shot right there. 
Just going to walk it over this time. Saving a bit of heat and we're saving uh, the instability. Going to fire at this guy's backside. Ooh, nice shot. I think that was a leg hit though. Oh, maybe not. Engine crit. That was a torso. Yeah, straight back hit. Beautiful. Once this bushwhacker goes down, they're pretty much done. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Oh, melee, Bessie. 29. Okay. I'm showing minor damage. Well, I cannot move very far, can I? Let's go stand on this guy's corpse. Where'd that scarecrow go? There you are. Trying to run away, you bastard. Here it comes. I missed with the barrage. Oh well. It's not like I'm going to get a whole bunch of them in a pack now, though. Centurion's over here. He's got an LRM-5 sh or LRM-10 shot. That's about it right now. This guy's running. Oh, he's not running. Ooh, nice shooting, Tex. I'm under heavy fire. I see that. That guy's on fire. All right, let's see what we can use on this guy. Not a whole lot. Uh. <laughs> if we can get one hit on this guy. <laughs> Cheating ammo, love it. Well, he's dead, isn't he? Mm, let's make sure he's in range here. Let's get into here. Get a side shot on this guy. Oh, yeah. Two hits. Punch him. Punch him right in the face. Okay. Step out up out of the water and just hammer this guy. Gonna stick with the Artemis, he's hard to hit. There we go. And there was two. See, in reality, that Centurion should just be running at this point. There's no point staying around. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. So I think both the mechs... With the exception of the Kentaro not having a really big move. I'm here. Um, I think both mechs actually turned out pretty well. Both the Kentaro and this, this the... Uh, let's not use this because we're like right here. Let's go this route. Okay, I'm on it. I think they both turned out pretty well overall. Like, this guy doesn't have quite the initial movement. I mean, it's not bad for a 55-tonner. And it can generate a fair bit of heat, like as you can see here. He's on fire now, though. Let's fire all this off. Oh, the big one hit. That's nice. Reporting. Critical hit. On you, 
But like I said, I just don't have the, the gear right now to be able to, to, to fully outfit them like I want to. But with what I do have, it's not too bad, I guess. Let's face off against this guy here. Hopefully he'll shoot for me. Yep, let's go this route. There you go. There it is, folks. All right, contract payment increased by 30%. Beautiful. That's going to care. We took we took a little bit of damage on this one. Wow. Talos really went to town today. It's not as good as I, what I thought it was going to be. I mean, the trebuchet did its job. It's a harasser. Kentaro, I don't know. The initial speed just isn't there. I wonder if the mask would... Well, no, I mean, the bonus damage, 190, 192 damage was pretty good. But I think I would rather hit with 142 more consistently. Maybe we put the mask in. That's a possibility. It'll definitely get us in closer faster. But these two did the work... You know, if we didn't have these two mechs today, if we had the urban mech and we had the um, the bushwhacker, I think we would have done just as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, they're going to friggin... They want to take the gorilla part, huh? Going to give us five XL engines? Yeah, I'll take the five XL engines, sure. <laughs> Plus three rep, okay. Bessie parts, Centurion parts, crappy parts. Where are those uh, XLs? Multi-shot cannon. Damage 40 for 8 tons, 16 rounds. 8 tons though for 40 damage. Eh, built-in ammo though. Ah, it's a mag shot. I don't know. Not bad. Rotary AC2 risk. We've already got one of these. See the AR12 sheath beacons. These are kind of nice too. They're the they're your um, half decent ECMs that go in the uh, in the um, sensor slot. They do take two slots though, two spaces. So it's basically using your e like a slot for an ECM, but it's one ton, so it doesn't really add that much weight. It's got a UAV built in, so these aren't that bad at all. If you see those, you can take them. So here's the chame Chameleon LPS. This was on the uh, Bushwhacker. Um, oh, they gave, gave him his singles. Fire control system. Energy. Flak. Plus two evasion ignore. 20% chance to deal critical hit. Minus one recoil with ranged weapons. Actually, that's not too bad either. That'd be nice for a... Uh, a rack system tracking people from a distance oh this is what we want fire control system predator yes please so this thing is uh, we use this on the uh, in infiltration on our pinpoint mech this coupled with the um, I think it's the, re is the recon sensors or the I think it's the recon sensors the extreme range and long range chance to hit with both of those put together is just incredible. It's just the amazing, like plus three accuracy extreme range. The other one gives you plus four accuracy. Put them both together. This is a fire control system. The other one's the sensors. And it's you're just at range. You're just devastating. So that, that's, if you ever see this, take it because it's, it's just w worth it. It's just the bonus chances to hit just makes it so much worth it. Um... Retractable blade. 
Melee accuracy, bonus damage. I don't think that's as good as the fist, though. I think the fist is better. Uh, upper recoil. Okay, well, I'm going to take... Hmm. Heavy Pharaoh as well, eh? All right, should have got off the pot here. All right, let's take um, let's take the heavy pharaoh. And as much as I want to take this, we have no use for it right now. Um, we do have three in storage though, so maybe, maybe. All right, let's go that route. Okay, Bessie and Talos part AC twenty. Some rockets, flamer LRM ten, SRM four. Stuff we can sell. All right. Okay. Well, 92,000 in damages. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a lot. Took a bunch of hits. Not much I can do about that. All right. Well, eight days. Let's manage the task a little better. So, I'm interested to know what you guys think about the, uh, the melee mech. Do you think it's better to go with... Um, you know what, we need to get into battle quicker than this, so let's go this way for now. So four days we'll have enough mechs to go into battle. We'll leave the melee mech till next time. Um, but I want to know what you guys think about that melee mech. I know we need gear for it. So, um, but I don't know. Uh, is it better to run the mass, do you think? Because at least we'd be getting in there quicker and doing the big damage faster. Or do we stick with the TSMs and do some general damage as we approach and then hammer for a really big hit? Because in this battle, I mean, we only got one use out of the TSM. So if we had the mask, we could get in g like even quicker and get general, like be meleeing a lot faster. And in the long run, I think we'd be doing more damage overall than if we're running with the TSMs because we don't have anything to keep ourselves hot when we melee attack. So we drop our heat. So either we fire everything again. I don't know. I think it might be better with the mask because we can just run in, melee, turn it off, and then we'll be close enough to do melee damage to everybody around us. And then if we have to go a good distance, we just turn it back on again. You know? But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.